the barrel dodger tutorial you have a little girl whatever your sprite is jumping over barrels as they come down i think i'm going to try to make mine a christmas version we'll see okay let's create a platform base at the bottom of the screen get a set tile map two and put it in on start click on the gray box to open the tile map editor in the bottom left corner set the size of the tile map to 10 by 8 and draw a platform in the bottom two rows for the tile map. Finally, click the wall button and fill in those two rows with wall tires. The light bulb here shows you what to do. Let me also show you what to do. Okay, down here, you need to change it to 10 by eight. It's gonna say 16 by 16, you need to change it to 10 by eight. Then where it says my tiles, you don't have any. So click on the plus, and then you're gonna fill this whole thing in with what you want your tiles to look like. So I'm gonna make them brown because I'm making my character run on the a rooftop, but then I'm gonna add some like white at the top so that it maybe, maybe looks like snow on top. Let me go back and add some brown so that it looks like more snow, what do you call it, snow banks. So I'm gonna make Santa running on a rooftop. Okay, done. So now I have that tile that I can put on here. I'm filling in the bottom two rows. So I'm gonna fill this across the top. I want the bottom just to be brown, but I don't have any tiles that are just brown. I need to make a new one, fill in the whole thing with brown, and I'm gonna go fill my bottom row. Select that tile, fill my bottom row. Okay, so now I have the bottom two rows filled with tiles. I need to add a wall so that the character goes on top of it. So I'm gonna click above gallery where it kind of looks like a wall. I'm gonna click that. And then I'm going to highlight over on here. So I covered these with the wall. Now I'm gonna say I'm done. And I've set my tile map to be that. So that should appear over here as my wall. All right, next. Find set my sprite to and sprites, drag it on to start. Oops, that needs to be on the bottom. And click on here and draw your sprite player. This is gonna take me a few minutes. So it took me a while, but I made this Santa. Maybe need to make some more right there. Looks like he's carrying a, a bag. That's what I'm going for. All right, Santa with a bag. I'm done with my sprite. There he is, of kind player. Next. Open the tile editor, tile map editor, and find the tile position where you want to place, where you want to place your place. Uh, I think that's supposed to be where you want to place your sprite. Hint, it's 1.5. You can see the position in the lower left of the editor. Use the place my sprite on top of tile map column and row position to position your player on that block. Okay, so I go to scene, place my sprite on top of the tile map, and they said to make it one, five. So let's see where that puts my guy. He's about right there. If you want your sprite further forward, you would change the one to like a three or something. I'm just gonna keep mine there because that's what they said. Let's give the sprite the ability to jump when we press a button. We do this by moving the player upward in an on button A pressed event. All right, so I'm going to controller on button A pressed, something's gonna happen. Does it tell me yet? My sprite's velocity is gonna go negative. So I just need a VY, not a VX, because Y is up and down. And negative means it's going up. It's kind of counterintuitive, but we'll go with it. Set my sprite X, because I didn't see a set my sprite Y. So I'm gonna change it to VY, velocity, y going up and down and it's going to be negative 200 because we want him to go up when he jumps next drag a set my sprite x into the on start click the drop down and select a y acceleration y set the value to 500 so that the character is pulled down by gravity okay so i need to set my sprite x again put it on start and we're going to change it to a y acceleration there it is a y acceleration and we're going to change the zero to a 500. double check that it's right 
yeah, I think looks good. All right, next. We need to make sure that the sprite is on the ground before jumping. So drag an if then conditional onto the on button A pressed. All right, let me do that. If then, we'll just go with this one. We can always change it later if we need to. Replace true with is my sprite hitting wall? Is my sprite hitting wall? All right, that goes in true. And change it to left side bottom. Is it hitting left side bottom? So let's see if that looks right. Yes. If it is hitting the bottom, then we're going to put a set my sprite X from sprite, set my sprite X. And choose the VY velocity from the drop down. VY velocity. Set the value to minus 200. Okay, next. Let's have some barrels moving at random speeds. Ooh, barrels. I might make mine more Christmassy. Um, make them start from the right side of the screen and fly towards the player sprite. Move an on game update every onto the workspace, the editor. Set the time interval to be 200 milliseconds. That would be two seconds. Drag a projectile from side into it and draw the barrel. Set projectile from side. All right, here's where I'm gonna draw my barrel. I messed around with their cat or dog or something. This is supposed to be a reindeer now. There it is, there's my reindeer. All right, he's coming down from the side. Let's change that. Drag a pick random block onto where the VX is and set the range from negative 100 to 80. All right, so math, pick random, put it in the VX, and it should be negative 100 to negative 80. That will make it go from right to left. Set the VY projectile to be zero. Next. Find place my sprite on top of tile map column row and drag it onto the game update interval. All right, place my sprite on top of game tile map. There we go. Set the column to nine and the row to five, which is the tile on the right side of the screen directly above the wall. Change my sprite to the projectile. So now my Santa goes back. There we go. Next. Each time a barrel starts to move to to move, we want to increase the score. Get a change score by and put it into the on game update every. Alright, info. Change score by one. Put it on the game update. Our final step is to end the game if a barrel touches the sprite player. All right, so in the game, oh, drag an on sprite overlaps onto the editor. On sprite overlaps. Set the kind of sprite for other sprites to be the projectile. So the projectile is my deer. So if Santa, my player, overlaps the deer because it doesn't jump, then my game is over and I have lost. Wah, wah. All right, let's see how this works. Ooh, there I jumped. Jumped again. Okay, so I'm getting points when they show up, but then if I don't jump in time, I lose and I melt all over the place. All right. Okay, here's the final version of my game. I added a cloud that's blizzarding. Santa's jumping over the deer, gaining some points. If I land on the deer, or if I don't jump in time, game's over. Have fun making your code today. I can't wait to see what you guys do. You're always so creative.